Well, what happened to my granddaughter was uncalled for, you know. The um, system failed because this girl, this young lady that, you know, they, they claim that they can't do no, I mean, telling us anything about the young lady. You know, my thing was the little young girl was a bully in school. My daughter uh, called the school like two weeks in advance about the same girl, and the school didn't did anything about it. So this ain't like this just happened yesterday, you know. This was going on like two weeks before it happened. So, you know, these are the things that they don't tell you. Just like the night they walked off the stage, went about their business. I mean, these, these are the kind of things that we was getting ever since the death. Uh, like right now, you know, I don't understand. You could talk about everything else, but a child life was took it. What's more important to talk about? I'm Kyle Jones We're with the ABC station in Savannah, and you did um, a network interview with the ABC station. Yes, I did. And in that interview, you were saying you felt like they were sweeping things under the rug. Well, I feel, I feel like, I mean, for, for, for the whole system not to give us an answer, I mean, anybody would want to know what went on with their granddaughter. I mean, once you send your child to school, you know, you expect for your child to come back home. So if the child don't come back home and get on the school bus, that means that the school is responsible for whatever went between getting on the bus and not coming home. Is you it know? true that you and your daughter didn't hear about this meeting until you saw it on the news? Nah, we ain't heard nothing about this meeting. We heard it through our friends and people calling the phone and saying, you know, they got a board meeting tonight. You know what I'm saying? We just found out, like, probably about 1 o'clock today. Did, um, has the superintendent or anyone from the district Nobody, said, nobody, nobody, nobody. So what have you been told? What do you know now as it relates to what happened to your granddaughter? Nothing. They haven't told us anything. They keep saying, like, they've been on the news, I think it was this morning, that they had a board meeting concerning Naya Wright's uh, death. But as you see, they didn't discuss it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't tell us anything about it. I mean, so, you know, this 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 one more thing that they do, you know? But I feel, I feel like they trying to make my granddaughter out of the villain when she ain't here. I feel like the girl that is responsible for it, so they should be talking about that mainly, you know? Talk about that. Talk about the bullying. Talk about, talk about our, our two weeks prior to this happening. Let's talk about that. that. Those are the things that I think that they should come up with instead of always talk about Renaya. I heard Renaya this and that. Talk about the girl or uh, talk about the person that could avoid this from happening. So everything, like the school teacher. So everything you've heard that has happened, was that from other students who were in the classroom at the time? Right. It was from other students that was in the class at the time. Why do you think that they are um, like holding back information? Because I really feel like they, they know the answer, but I really feel like they, they're looking for a little loophole to find out where we ain't going to be responsible for it, or the, or the school system not going to be responsible for it. I think that's what's happening. I think they don't have answers. They know the answers, but they don't want to come up with the answers. Has the sheriff's office contacted you? Never. Nobody. Nobody. Have they mentioned anything, I don't know, if, can you speak to this, about any prior medical issues that were Well, happening? you know what they were saying. Uh, she might have had um, aneurysm and all kind of stuff. My, my granddaughter played basketball. You know what I'm saying? She just got through playing basketball. My thing is, uh, uh, something had to trigger it. A fight triggered it. Uh, whatever happened in the classroom triggered it. If she did have a uh, sickness or whatever that we didn't know anything about. She got her six months checked up. Doctors ain't never told us anything, you know? But that is another thing that's floating in the air that, that just, just, just part of covering it up, you know? And instead of just, just come out and tell the truth. So just, yeah. just deal with it. Just deal with it. They yeah. slipped. The system slipped. Just deal with it. Yeah. It took a death for you to realize that the system is broken. It shouldn't have took a death. When my daughter was calling the school, let them know that she was being bullied. You know what I'm saying? Something should have been done then. Not later on after we already buried her. Now nobody ain't got no answer for anything. There's a state senator, Margie Brent Matthews, who put out kind of a conflicting story of what happened that day. And she, she came and she came right back. Yeah. Uh two two press conferences after that 
and apologizing. You feel that was irresponsible? Oh, that this bit, I don't understand even where that came from. Yeah. How you got so much information and we don't? You know, we was waiting for the autopsy to come back. You know what I'm saying? To find out what's going on, you know, because they want to put it on something else. But my thing is, I don't know where she get her information from, but she came back two days later, or a day later, and apologized for what she said. I mean, should have never been said. I know your family um, has an attorney. What is your plan uh, now going forward? We, 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 want, we, want, we want justice for Lanai. We're not, we want justice for her. I mean, as we could see, she never was a bad child. You know, she was just an easy child to raise. Um, we just want justice for her. We, just, we want the next kid, you know, to be safe in school. We don't want their parents to not see them that evening, you know, waiting for them to come home and they don't show up, you know? But my key thing is, let's talk about the person and the people who caused this incident to happen. What do you have to say about that? Kind of speak to that a little I bit. I feel like, I feel like instead of battling my granddaughter, let's talk about some of that. Let's, let's bring that out. Who is this girl? I mean, how many times she been in trouble? How many schools she went to? Um, how long she was a bully? I mean, those Did are you all know her prior to the incident? I don't know the girl. I don't know the young girl, but my um, daughter know of her. You know what I'm saying? That's why people talking. But my granddaughter come home many days talking about this girl. Many a days. And the school system knowed about it. Was there, is there like a paper trail of that? There's a paper trail all the way. So like, there were complaints that were filed? Oh, yeah, oh not. the school district but, or at the school level? Not filed. She would call the school, talk to the, the homeroom teacher, talk to the, uh, the uh, what you call it? Um, the school teacher and the principal. Yeah, she would talk to both of them, and nothing never was done. My granddaughter even wanted to go to school because of the bullying. They never separated the two of them. Or my thing is, my thing is, I want to know where the teacher was. If the teacher was there, why didn't she stop it? If she was there, you know, I truly don't believe she was there. But that's just another thing. That's why we got the investigation for for. The way that she got, checking it and all that. Because we got statements from other kids saying that she wasn't there. So we just waiting until we finish up our investigation. Do you all have any idea of what kind of or if any legal action will be taken? We hope so. We hope, we hope that she didn't die in vain. We hope that somebody should be liable for it. I mean, could have been your kid. Could be your kid. Could be your kid. You know? We just hope that for her death, that we feel like other parents should realize that it could be their kid. So if you don't want it to be your kid, you need to get on the ball. How's your family doing right now? Oh, we, we doing all right. We take it one day at a time. You know, she was a Christian girl. You know, she was five years old. She was up in the church, you know, being an usher, the only little five-year-old up in the whole church when grown people marching, she right in the middle. So. She, we know she was very Christian. She loved church. She loved to go to church. I mean, that part we feel better on, knowing that she's somewhere better. That's the way we're looking at it. But she is missed by her family. Yeah. I said, I said enough? Perfectly. <laughs> Perfect. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much. All right. Could you say and spell your first and last name one more time? I don't know if I was recording when you said it. Well, E-R-I-N-E. Okay. W-R-I-G-H-T.